report, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Pritchard. Uh, commissioners, um, I think you're aware, but um, with, the, with the issues that have been going on uh, with the Withlacoochee River um, downstream, we, uh, Mr. Stoudy and his folks had tested the Withlacoochee River, um, I believe it was January 6th, had actually checked it or tested it right after um, Christmas, and it was, we, the, the levels were ex at, at an acceptable level. Um, retested on January the 6th, those levels came up higher than acceptable, and so following that, the decision was made to go ahead and post at three different locations, which would be Highway 31, Nankin Bridge, and Knights Ferry. So you may hear something from some folks out in the county uh, about the purpose of posting those warning signs. We just felt like that that was the best thing to do. So we went ahead and posted those. We will do some testing, and those signs will remain until we get a, a uh a test that's below the acceptable numbers. Troop Ville's okay. <clears throat> is, is the plant, the sewage plant, below the Troop Ville? Um, yes. Boat ramp? Yes. And we don't have a boat ramp at 84. This, Parts and Rec does, well, they own all the boat ramp, but there is a boat ramp. Not, I'm sorry, 84? No, there is not one at 84. And the, the, Discharge is above the 84. It's actually between um, 133 and 84. How often will we test those spots? Steve, weekly. Weekly. A quick, quick, quick question. Is there anything else we could do, I guess? I, I mean, I went to the, um, the meeting just like you and Scotty, and I just was just had in my mind that if they got all those issues in Madison, I mean, surely we, we may have someone in the county before it gets down to Florida. And so I just want to know if there's anything else we can do or are we hearing any complaints or anything like, like they seen the other night? Well, I think that basically what we found out was, uh, again, I'm not a professional at this, but we tested sites and the numbers were below uh, the levels of, of major concern. Um, the state of Florida was doing the same thing. And then, however, they're constantly testing as well. And then all of a sudden, at the state line site where they test up to, those levels jumped back up. So we retested from that standpoint just for the county's locations. And then that we got numbers that confirmed their numbers. Um, and so certainly that gave us a high level of concern. So we went ahead and posted uh, it's my understanding, Steve, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're going to test also at 84 and on up at Sugar Creek, Okapilco Creek, correct. And so those are some areas that we're looking at. Uh, you're going to typically, when you have a major spill like, like was had, uh, you could have, especially with low river conditions or low flow, you could have some materials that maybe gets trapped somewhere and then you might have some rain and get a flush and so your numbers are going to fluctuate up and down to some degree uh, but certainly the safety of the citizens that's using those locations we want that river we want to be sure that uh, it's a, it's safe and so testing is what we're going to do until we're satisfied that those numbers are below the acceptable level. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, I'd like for Steve to uh, clarified not only do we get the results from one testing lab but you have gotten them from two to verify is it not and I would agree it's amazing but those numbers are even though they come from different labs the same sample as you can get a different reading however when you get two high readings you've got two high readings right. um, so it, it is something that the numbers are don't seem to ever completely line up. However, uh, it is a concern, uh, and Mr. Marshall, from your standpoint, we are very concerned uh, as well for our no neighbors to the south, but certainly it's pushed up a higher level of, of concern as well for the citizens here in the unincorporated areas of Lowndes County that live around and utilize um, accessibility to that, to that river stream. 
So it's something that we all are going to have to work together just to make sure it's safe. And certainly we hope that once this issue is cleared up and it's resolved, um, then the testing will always come back um, negative at that point, not with a concern, and then we can all move forward. It would be better for us as well as for our neighbors south. So there was, some, there was some talk at that meeting um, about liability, and they were asking for claim. You know, where do we where where can we find a claim form? I think near the end of that, um, does does do we as a county do we have any liability or responsibility at trying to capture any of that between Valdosta and Florida? I think I know the answer to that, but I just was curious if. Well, I, I don't think we have any liability. I certainly would tell. You, I think the attorney would tell you is anybody could file a, a case against anybody at any time. Of course, it's got to have merit. Uh, it is not a county spill. Uh, it is a city spill. However, with the city of Valdosta being inside Lowndes County. Uh, we, I feel like that we do have a certain obligation to make sure that that stream is safe. If it is not safe, then our citizens and the folks that access it need to know that. I think at this point that's the limit of what we should be doing. Uh, the issue between what you mentioned and the folks, uh, whether they really whether they be in Lowndes County or whether they be in Florida, that's an issue they're going to have to take up with the city of Valdosta. I'd rather just not get into that. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I guess what I was wondering is also is is, is there anything they can do besides um, I guess sucking sucking it out? Is there some chemical they can put in there to to, to, to lessen the the potency of the uh, the waste that's been put into? I think that there would be some folks in this community would throw a bigger fit with you putting more chemicals in the river than it is to just let the river naturally take care of it because it will do that. The river over time will clean itself. Now, it can't clean itself if it's continuing to flow in there. It'll never get there. But if it is kept clean, then a flowing river such as that will do some natural cleaning over time, and, and it'll go away. There is no continuation of flow into the river, is it? There's no what now? Continuing flow into the river of None contamination? That I'm aware of. None that I'm aware of. Does the city know if there's anything going in there? None that I'm aware of. <laughs> any other questions? Discussion? Commissioners, anything else that you'd like to discuss at this time? I don't think so. So I can assume everybody's happy? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that, but we don't have anything to talk about. There you go. Well, that's good. Okay. Motion to Motion adjourn. To adjourn. Motion to adjourn.